All right, first thing we need to download is Kali Linux, right? And then it made us exploitable. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Kali.org. Once you're here, click on downloads. <clears throat> and here you'll see where it says virtual machines. Let's grab this because we want pre-configured DMs. I'm gonna click on that. And right here, they have a few things for us. They have a VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V, you name it. So we need the VMware. I'm gonna click on uh, downloads. And lucky for you, I've already done this. And guess, so what you need to do, you need to create a folder where you're gonna organize all these things too. So what I did, I went to the C drive and then I create a folder known as a sec lab. And then I add another one known as ISO. And then I add everything here. So if, if I were to go here right quickly right now, let me bring this up here for you. If I were to go in there right now, you can see I have all of these. I have Windows 7, XP, Kali, everything that, uh, even X, right? Even the things that I don't need for this lab, <laughs> it's here, right? So, but just organize this a little bit better. So I've already downloaded that. It's there. I'm going to cancel that. Another thing that we need to download after da after downloading Kali is Metasploitable. Metasploitable specifically two, because there is three out there. So I'm going to put the link uh, to this in the description. So just click on that link and it's going to try to download this automatically for you. So if I go back here, I've already downloaded this, but it's going to try to download this automatically for you. But if it doesn't, just click on the download and it's going to start downloading it uh, for you again. Last thing that we need to download here quickly is the 7-zip. 7-zip we need it because we're going to have to unzip some of these files. So go to 7-zip.org or 7-zip.org.org and then click on downloads. Once you're here, click on a 64-bit or download the 64-bit version because that's the version of the operating system that I'm running. If you're on the Mac, go ahead and grab something like Kekka. Uh, there's a few of those uh, out there. Uh, if you're using a Mac for this as well. So I'm going to put this in a download section here somewhere. And it's a really lightweight file. So I'm going to double click on it. It's going to ask me, hey, you sure you want to do that? I'm going to say yes. Click on install. And this is done. It's as simple as that, right? That's 7-zip. I'm going to close that. Now we have those two downloaded. Let's go where we've downloaded, we've, we've saved this. So I'm going to open my file explorer. And... Oh, let me bring this here so you can see it. So if I explore, I uh, will go to the uh, this PC. I'm going to click on um, uh, the C drive. And here I'm going to go to Sec Lab. I'm going to open the ISO. Then we, we're we just going to be working with these two files right now. First thing first, let's go ahead and extract this. So I'm going to right click on a Metasploitable and then go to Show More. Again, you can extract this with extract all. I can use WinRAW if you're on a Windows 11. I don't think it works on a Windows 10, which is why I had you download uh, 7-zip. But if you click on show more and then go to 7-zip, you should see 7-zip there. Point to that and then extract here. Click on extract here. I right, click on that. It's going to just take a few seconds. And it's going to go in and, and then extract this metasploitable too. The next thing we need to extract is the Kali. So I'm going to right click on that. Again, show more options, 7-zip, and then extract here. Right? Click on that. It's going to take another few seconds to get this extracted. Then when that's done, we are going to add these two VMs on top of VMware Workstation. All right. And it looks like it's finished. So now we have Kali, and then we have a Meta. Metasploitable. So what I'm going to do is rename this right quickly. So I'm going to right click on them and then click on, I can show more. Oh, you know what? I can just double click on this. Not really that double click, like click on it until you can be able to rename it. I'm going to call this Kali Linux. Right? And then I'm going to call this Meta. Let's keep it short. Let's call it Meta, just like what Facebook did, right? So now that we have Kali and Meta, I'm going to start with Kali. So double click on Kali. And then we have all these files. The one that we care about is the second one from the top. All right. The one that looks a little bit different. Right? The icon looks a little bit deep different. So we're going to double click on this. But we could also go to um, uh, VMware Workstation and then bring it in there that way. But let's just go ahead and double click here. 
and it's going to open in a workstation, right? And right here, there's a few things that we need to kind of uh, uh, change. First of all, let's make sure we have the 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 name. So let's go ahead and double click on this, or not double click. If you double click on it, it's gonna start. It's gonna start the the VM. So right click on it, and then go to rename. No, not remove. What am I doing? Click on rename. And then call this Kali Linux. And another thing that I want us to do, I forgot to do that earlier. So click on uh, my PC and create a new folder here. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call this sec lab. As you can see, I like to organize things. And then I'm going to grab a Kali. I'm going to just drop that in the sec lab so that I have that here and just kind of keep it clean just in case you do additional stuff in the future. Anyway, so click back on Kali. Don't double click and just click on it. I'm going to show you a few things. The first thing you can see that once we have everything rolling, we have username and passwords are here. So Kali, Kali is going to be the username is going to be the password. And there's some other useful links here as well. But let me clear the screen. One thing that I want us to do here is to change the hardware settings. So I'm going to click on edit virtual machine settings. Right. And then, because I have 64 gig, I'm going to push this to 8 gig. Again, you don't have to do this. You can leave that. You can leave that on, on 2 gig or you can put that on 4 gig. That works as well. You can just select that as well. So 4 gig of RAM, right? And I'm going to go to processor. I'm going to leave that to kind of a full processors, but you can put that on 1, right? And that works as well, but I'm going to leave that on 2. It depends on you know, how fast your computer is. For the hard disk, I'm going to just leave that on 80. And for the network adapter, here it's connected to the NAT. You can click on advanced and no, no, no. you can, here it's connected on the NAT, right? NAT network. And, and that's where we want this to be, right? That's exactly where we wanted it, that to be. And they got the USB, if you can change it to whatever that you use there. We got the display, the sound card, and the display there as well. So only thing you change here is the memory and the processor, and then click on OK. And we can see that it's looking the way we want it. So now it's time to turn this sucker on. So you can double click on it or click on this play looking icon to turn on this Kali. And usually there's a, like a little pop-up that says, hey, did you move this or did you copy this? Always click on, I moved this, right? That didn't come up right now, but maybe on some of the other VMs later, it's gonna come up, right? There it goes, his Kali is going in, is basically booting up uh, because it's already installed. That's the beauty of downloading this as a VM. It's not going to go in and try to kind of a download everything from like get you into the whole process of installing Kali. No, it's already pre-installed. We're just basically adding on top of this. There we go. Look at this. It's done. When I click on Kali, I'm gonna click. I'm going to type in Kali for the username and then Kali for the password. And voila, right? It's it's uh, it's it's here. Right, so we can, and we will be coming back here uh, as well, but I can bring up the terminal quickly here and I can ping Google to see if Google is up and I can see Google is up, right? And that's, that's telling me I have an IP. I mean, I have an internet connection. And if I do IF config quickly here, you can see there you go. My ETH is zero, my INET is 10.0.0.10, right? Specifically where we say the DSCP, you should start assigning IP addresses from 10 and going up. So this Kali, it's that 10, pretty good. So I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna minimize this and I'll go back to my ISO folder. Now let's go ahead and bring in the meta. I am gonna go back here. I'm going to double click on meta and then I click on this icon that again, that it looks like a three little uh, uh, windows there. So double click on that and it's going to open in in a uh, uh, workstation as well. I'm going to grab that and drag that into the sec lab folder. And then I'm going to rename this to meta. There we go. And 
We can also change the hardware uh, settings as well, and we will because <laughs> uh, this thing has like a memory is in megabytes. It's not even a gig and the processor is, is one. So we're gonna kind of change that a little bit. But I wanna show you the password. The password is MSF admin and MSF admin for the username as well. So M MSF admin is for the password. MSF admin is for the username as well. So I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Here we are going to change the memory. So I'm going to push that to just two gig. Push that just to two gig. Process. I'm going to leave that where it is. You know, maybe let me put that on two. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll leave that back to one. Right. This it's not gonna be used for much really, other than being scanned, right? Being scanned and being attacked. So just leave that on default or leave that on uh, just change the memory to two gigabytes if you have enough. I'm gonna click OK. We're pretty good there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bed boy on. So I'm gonna double click on it to turn this uh, meta machine on. All right, or just click on play there. All right, here they're asking me, hey, did you move this or did you copy this? This is what I was talking about earlier. So here you just click on, I moved it. The reason why you do that is because you don't want them to think your Mac address it, that's being used is it's identical to your physical hardware, to your you know laptop or desktop that you're using for this kind of stuff. So you say, I moved it so that they can kind of reset everything, right? Not just start copying things from your physical machine. All right, give it a minute for Meta to, to show up, to boot up. And it should be done in a minute. Meta is not uh, big. I keep calling this Meta, but uh, you got the idea. Meta is exploitable. And here we are. So another thing that I want to show you, when uh, every time you, you're trying to log in into Meta, it's going to Meta exploitable. It's going to tell you the username as well. It's going to say, hey, log in with MSF admin. MSF admin, right? That's the username, that's the password, okay? Is there, so if you ever forget these, they're always there. You can also start writing these down, right? Create like a little um, uh, like a little note taking thing where you're writing all this stuff down. Okay, now we're here, we're gonna sign in. We're gonna say MSF admin, if I can type. All right, there we go. MSF admin, MSF admin, and we're in. So you're like, well, well, hold on a minute. How do you know you, you're in? Because of that dollar sign right there. The other thing we can say, I have config. Try to check the IP address for this guy. And here you can see the IP address is 10.0.0.11. Again, like I said earlier, the DSCP server is signing these IP addresses to these computers right now. Okay. So what can we do? Well, we can ping Kali. Ping Let's go ahead here and just ping Kali. You can say, hey, ping, oops, 10, 0, 0, 10, right? See if they're talking to each other. And voila, sure enough, they're talking. Control C to stop the ping. I, I didn't tell you that earlier when we were doing it in Kali, but you basically just press Control C on your keyboard to stop the ping as well. Right? You're like, whoa, 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 what if I want to just ping four times? Well, then you can do it like this. Let's say you want to ping that meta computer. We can just say ping 10, 0, 0, uh, 11. And I forgot to put the options here. We can just say, hey, ping, I want you to count dash C four times and then start pinging, right? So that way you don't have to do control C. If you do that, it's going to ping just four times and then stop. If you ever done ping on Windows, this is exactly what Windows does. And you're like, okay, hold on a minute, Francis. How do I know this is successful? Well, look, four packets were sent because I, I say, hey, just send four things. Four packets were sent, four were received, zero packets were lost. That's how you know these two computers, they're talking to each other. Fantastic. So one last thing that I want us to do for this. Now, the, this is the basic lab setup. This is pretty, pretty much done. One last thing that I want us to do here is to... Uh, update and upgrade your Kali. 
go ahead and check for those updates. So sudo apt update. I right, try to see, okay, what are some of the updates that uh, uh, that, are, that are out there? And this thing is coming back saying, hey, there's over 600 packages that can be upgraded. It like, oh, sweet. So let's go ahead and just upgrade those. So type in sudo apt upgrade. Right, and then we'll say dash y, and the reason why we say dash y is because uh, it can say yes to all the pop-ups, all the things that say you sure you want to do this. We want the Kali to go and just say yes to all of those as well. So I'm gonna hit enter, and it's going in. It's just upgrading everything. So this might take a minute, depends on how fast your connection is. So give it a minute, and we should be good to go. So as soon as this is finished, as soon as you finish upgrading, go ahead and shut down everything because we are going to be done with, uh, with the first setup. And after waiting for a minute, here we are. It's completely done. It's uh, done. It's updated. And we are good to go.